All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Volk here, one only. How are all my adventures doing? Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. I know I am because we finally have our distance skill for Archer now. We actually have a lot of skills right now. Let's see, present self from being affected by monsters. Oh, yeah, that's concealed. Can get past monsters without uh, notifying them. So we have a lot of our seals now. Uh, so let's see. We bought two skills. I think it was just to jump back and to conceal right now. So our next task is to take on the plateaus. Which we're gonna go do right now. I want to keep this right here. It's only funny because I believe Archer is the only one with a timed invisibility. Uh, Druid, Druid Wolfhorn is permanent invisibility, if I remember correctly. And I think Assassin's Invisibility is also permanent. I think it's Sage, right? Close some Moon. Or Shaman. Uh... Am I blind? I probably could be blind. Been having a lot today. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, no time limit for this. And I... The assassins shouldn't be time limited, right? Oh, no. The assassins are time limited, too. Why do I feel like that's not fair? <laughs> Does it evolve, at least? No, it stays 30 seconds. That's kind of crazy. To have a dedicated class... And have it not have a little stealth like Druid does. But okay. <laughs> it's weird. Is that a quest for this area? Oh yeah, we gotta go um We gotta go to Sprite Forest and turn that quest in. So we can get combat for our sprite. I haven't leveled up my sprite because I don't have enough gold to do that, to bring up up to level 50. So I'm probably going to be pretty far behind to where I have to either farm a new sprite, more than likely. But I'll probably get a new sprite after like level 50, honestly. I'll probably spend time getting these guys up to level 50. Right now, it's just the gold is lacking. Uh, this should be very close, right? Is it like it's over here, right? Huh. Honestly, that's it's a fast cooldown. I kind of like that. Well, no, it's twelve. Like, why does this one seem so much faster than that? Huh. I have two escapes now. That's that's the nice part of that. Kind of want to have that right there instead have those two buttons as my escape all right so now my sprite should have combat yep sprite awakening is the quest to get your sprite combat and 
for it to be able to pick up certain rarities. I'm going to take off gray. I don't know why red's on here. Will we... When there is no, like, rare stuff to pick up. But rare. Red rarity to pick up. Uh, like I said, I wish we could just set it to quest item on here too, on this side or something. That would be great for to only pick up quests. Not gonna use it right now. Uh, I guess I can keep my sprites going for the um, level ups. Gotta remember where I was though. First off, we gotta go back to the plateau now. Now that we're done with that. And do all the quests there. Then after Plateau, I think it's going to send us to Deserted Temple. Deserted Temple is pretty easy. Shouldn't be like difficult or anything like that. Uh, I forget what level it is. I think it's like 34, 35. Maybe 36 or 37. Somewhere between that. I've done that plenty of times to know it's not that difficult. And that's also one of the first like reflection damage bosses you actually run into. But it's an active ability that the boss uses instead of like it being a passive. Uh, let's check all these people in here and see what they have. Okay, they have quests all for this. Uh, let's go over here. Because some of these are probably going to be repeat quests. Uh, bring up sword. I'll have you guys like gather stuff later. Okay, this is a quest chain. Oh, geez. Okay. Plateau actually has a lot more, um, a lot more quests than I thought it was going to have. Oh, there's another person. On the same level I am. I also think people really just don't know what happened to Grand Fantasia as well. Because everybody's been looking for Grand Fantasia on area games. And just so you guys know, ahead of time, just in case you guys are confused about the whole area game situation, area games no longer holds uh, Grand Fantasia. X Legend themselves took it back and it is on their actual site. So all you gotta do is type in X Legend and their website will show up. You can pull it up from there. Uh, let's do each quest one at a time. Just like go down the line. See if that's more efficient. I also took off the costumes and stuff because this set actually looks a lot better. I thought about using some of my costumes, but that was like, eh. Let's not. <laughs> if you guys don't mind me using costumes without stats, I can do that. I don't mind it. Uh, let's... Huh. Stuff on the floor. Thought I put it fully on the dresser. Apparently I did not. And you would get a bad event. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for <laughs> for that. Appreciate it, man. You're, you're the best. Are you going to get another? Okay. Yep. I'll just go fuck myself. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You know what? If you come back with a with a bad one, too, I there's nothing I can do, man. It's just like you guys just 
totally threw crafting out of the window. <laughs> Bunch of jerks. Come on now. But anyway. Yeah. Not a huge fan of crafting in this game. I'm really not. Like I said, I'm more of a fine mile loot type of player. That's just how I grew up in like MMOs, just going in, finding gear and using it. Grand is the first game that ever changed my perspective on that. Also, I put on the uh, Condemned Mine title. This Condemned Mine title actually gives 5% evasion, but gives me negative 3 hit chance. So, Sag. <laughs> My evasion's always been pretty terrible. I just made it worse. Um, hold on. So what we're gonna do here is it's Rocket Man, right? I guess since it changed order. Feels so slow. Huh. It doesn't feel like 15 meters. I'm not gonna lie to you, that that does not feel like 15 meters. Oh, it's you guys I was supposed to get. Ease. Whoops, wrong one. I still feel like the meteor shower should hit multiple enemies and not be a single target. It's just weird. Not only that, when I when I was thinking of Archer, I was thinking of aiming a reticle and you know launching a whole bunch of arrows in the air and just dropping down. I wasn't thinking about my character just charging an ability and just letting it rip. That's the thing that threw me off about seeing that skill. Also, are range abilities. I don't think range abilities should be affected by reflection damage because it's a projectile. I'm not physically hitting an enemy, hitting them with magic or anything. I don't know why. I just feel like they should be excluded from reflection damage. Just makes sense. But that's me. Then again, if I had the option, I would take out reflection damage all the fucking together, like Jesus Christ, brother. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna hear me complain about it at least, at least once a fucking video. Get over it, <laughs> because I surely won't. <laughs> uh, okay, that's not the enemy I'm looking for. Oh, this is Samo. I don't know why Samoan comes in my head. I think Samoa Joe. That's that's probably why the old wrestling days. Man, that's probably what I'm thinking of. But, uh... Shamans. Shamans also drop some repeat quest items that you can sell if you're willing to farm it, though. That's only if you're willing to farm it. Let's see if I can find. I was about to say, I remember this area. Where is the upper part of this? Yeah, there it is. Giant, uh... Giant necklace. Yeah, this is a repeat item. And it is sellable.
There is a boss up here, too. Well, more of a quest boss. I would say quest elite more than anything, right? I feel like a quest elite just sounds more natural. Just because he's four quests. There he is. I remember dying to him once. I don't know what he had, but it definitely destroyed me. Like, I forgot what I was playing. I know it was a class that I was, like, very new to. Hello? Oh, they're not in, on this map. Okay, that's annoying. Finding a lot of quests that aren't on this map. I also changed a little bit of my voice to make it sound a little bit smoother. I'm still playing around with mic audio. Um, I thought about feeding one audio plugin into another and have my voice sound a little bit lower and completely different. But then I was thinking to myself, I have to start up two softwares for this to become a thing. <laughs> And I was just like, nah, I'm, yeah, I can't be asked. I feel like I'm too lazy for that. As I might, I gotta play around with some settings and stuff like that. I recently found out that my PC has um, had faulty RAM, so I had to remove that. It kept causing crashing issues, so I haven't been streaming when I had the uh, downtime and wasn't working today. Uh, so, yeah, I had to deal with that. That wasn't fun at all. There's also an event that's going on for uh, enhancing your weapon. Be careful with that, because that is a huge freaking trap. And I'll, I'll explain why. It's because uh, of these hammers. <laughs> Oh god, excuse me, my soul. These hammers right here. These hammers right here are needed to increase the max, and I mean the max durability of your weapon or anything you're crafting. So let's say if I was to craft and fail like three times, let's use one of my weapons as an example. You see how it has a little quote, well, the little brackets to where it says 98? That is my default max. So as I'm like, you know, getting this to play plus three, let's say I fell three times and it goes down to a quality of 60 to 60. I'm losing quality. If I'm not using any of these like fail safes right here, like this, this or this, I'm not getting anything out of that. And these are going to sell greatly on the shop but the the mat the stupid thing is is x legends idea of giving a new daily a new daily magic table a fucking day it doesn't help because imagine dude the shop would be filled with that stuff but since S Legend, you know, went with their little idea that nobody wanted, didn't ask the community, hey, you guys want this? No, just threw it out there. It, it's going to be lacking on a lot of material in the game. And no, you cannot farm those mallets. You cannot craft them either. They, they are special events. Either that or they are... How about I say hello, game? Okay. Oh, let's push the wrong button. There are either special events or gain from welling. Oh yeah, if you also want to play lottery, you guys can come over here, go to lottery, Just pick the one, whatever numbers you want. Oh yeah, it's this one. Please, place bet. There we go. That also gives you a uh, free XP for one of these whenever it shows up. I was bet three times now. Uh, 
Huh? Wait a minute. It's bet three times. Okay. We're making more weird decisions. I could have sworn that was bet one time and, and that was it. Whatever. You know what? I'm over it. Ah, uh, let's hide. Excellent. What? Why is this here? Huh? The fuck? Okay. All right. I didn't even know you could actually have that as like a little quest thing. You can. Oh, you double click and you can highlight them. I did not know that. That's strange. Is that strange to anyone else? Oh, I have a quest for Condemned Minds as well. And it gives... Oh, it gives these. This is actually a nice thing to do. Because these are engravements that you need for yellow uh, yellow rings. Shit. Uh, well, then that's actually very good to do. Uh, 100 rewards. They never really explain what's in there. I feel like a lot of these should have like actual items for us to get instead of just XP. But if uh <sighs> even if you can get your hand on one of those hammers, it's it's very tedious not only that i'm pretty sure people are putting that even a 50 percent one at a ridiculous price right now i would probably have to take the repair hammers off of my like main character if i actually wanted to get somewhere with that gear but the whole event that's going on right now is that you can get through plus nine without uh without uh the gear breaking or being destroyed like i said be careful with that that is that is kind of a slight trap for those of you uh who are free to play players is that a, another quest item oh yeah there is another quest item right here I feel like this would be better to sell for anyone trying to get to like level 31. I don't know. I feel like we need to start selling a lot more like repeat quests though. Out here. Makes make a lot of gold off of just getting those little bundles. I will say this, a little bit of auction in house is coming back to life. People are actually selling like armors and stuff like that. Armor sets. Like I said, the easiest way to level up your sprite is crafting. Because uh, crafting takes half of the time that you would... Uh, that you would go through than training. Uh, let's go ahead and put up the other ones too. Uh, sick. Where are you? I have to go to Plague Forest. Plague Forest is the next map, right? No, it is not. It, oh, Plague Force is like all the way over here somewhere. If I remember correctly. No. Over here. Is this? That? These? Oh, that's yeah, right here. Wait, no, that is the next map. Am I blind? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so Plague Force is basically our next area. Why am I thinking of Misty? Am I trying to get myself destroyed going that way? Okay, so that that's our transition quest to the next map. So we can hide this for now. Uh, so what about... 
the rocket man quest. So I have to go all the way back to jail and get the potion from him. Noted. I can do that. XP is pretty much still hidden pretty hard though. Well, I say, what was that other quest? Like two or four bars? I wasn't paying attention. I think it was like four bars. Hey, buddy. Heard you got some potion for me. Thank you. I wonder, is the stamina back up? Let's see. Stamina! Halfway. I think that should be fine. I can start crafting again. Eh, wait, do I have bows? I can start... Oh, I can craft a lot of arrows, though. I don't know if anybody's going to buy those arrows, though. To be honest. I don't know, at a cheap price, maybe. Huh. Hmm. Walk there. I gotta think of something. The easiest thing to sell when it comes to, like, this, when it comes to armor sets, is probably the chest and the helmet. Just because the chest and the helmet will always be, like, the easiest items to get without crafting. Because you guys saw that this was just having scavenged from an item and this is for like a boss drop this is how i feel it should be it should be from a dungeon then i craft it but that's just me okay good good get that relationship up even though it's fully maxed i actually don't know what relationship does out of all the years of playing this game, I still don't know what the fuck it does, but you know. Hey. <laughs> More power to it. Okay. Let's finish up Rocket Man, since that's one of our queen. Uh, queen? Chain quest. <laughs> I say Quain. <laughs> Am I good? <laughs> Should be getting our next skills though, real soon. Like literally, all I want to do is hit level forty, and I feel like we're gonna do that inside of a deserted, deserted temple. Oh wait, why am I killing you guys? I just randomly chose violence on you. Okay, and he failed. Great. It's not giving me those. We gotta bring those up to 31. Whoops. I is Butterfingers. Ah, I didn't expect that to one shot, but I forgot I have the, the bonus set. Wait, I am attacking the wrong things. Wait, that turned off music. Oh, I just realized I turned off the music. I was wondering why it was so quiet. I was just sitting here like, wait a minute. Normally there's some good music playing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think my favorites, like, OST in the game is Red Ridge. There's something about Red Ridge's, like, song that just slaps different. I'm 
Like, will you get over here, dude? Just, we're gonna go that that way anyway, because this is where a deserted temple is. Bro, you're gonna hear the song, and it's gonna slap. It's gonna slap pretty hard. Uh, this should probably give me, like, two bars, right? Come on, give me two bars, at least. Or three, I'll take that. Fuck it. Okay, so we are going back to the shaman area. Moving this slow kind of does make me want to use my faster mounts. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna put this up because, uh... It's like, eh, I don't really need them right there. Right now, and they're taking up room. These can also go in here, and these are going to be our uh, scrolls. You guys are going to see a lot of me farming, like a lot. That's the thing I'm not looking forward to, is showing you guys a whole bunch of farming. Especially when it comes to trying to get my sprite. Because those videos are going to probably... I'm probably going to have to combine those uh, videos together. Probably what it's going to be. Anything that's grinding wise, just going to have to combine those videos and just be like, hey, fuck it. You guys probably won't see a video for like a whole week with how long it takes me to farm some stuff. Yeah, that or it takes me a whole week to get a gold farm going. Alright, we're gonna be level 34 in a few seconds. I say get nothing but a good events, please. That, that's all I'm hoping for. Alright. It's almost at a point to where I can get rid of these sprites and don't have to touch them ever again in my life. But once they become like level 50 and I got in like the level 50 like sword and bow, well sword and gear out of those sprites, I can just immediately get rid of them. Past that point, I don't need them anymore. Oh, well, there's... There's temple already. What the f Okay. So I also have to go to uh, Bone Reef for one of the quests that they give. That's, that's like I said, they won't take you there. They won't give you a quest that takes you there anymore. As soon as you hit Desert Temple, they, they're forcing you to start reading. So start paying attention to your quests. Or you're going to start missing out on quests you need to do. Then you're going to stumble upon them like way later down the road. Uh, we're going to finish up. Uh, plateau first. Then we'll head over there to that. Huh. It probably. Eh. It's probably going to take an hour again. It's probably going to take an hour, again, just to finish another area. That's, that's normally what they extend to, it's an hour. Hopefully we just don't get to the point where I'm, like, massively undergeared. Yeah, I can't do anything with those anymore. Uh, there should be crystals over here. Or the quartz. Please, the boss don't be here. Oh, I need seven of those. Huh? Darn it. Okay, does that one count? No, that one doesn't count. 
Oh yeah, um, if you break like chests, jars, and stuff like that, you have a chance of getting um, jelly coins as well. I totally forgot about that. Jelly coins give like a special um, jelly coins can be turned in to have a chance. Is what I should say to give you like a jelly cape, and a jelly cape can either heal you for HP or heal you for mana. It's these little jars right here. You have a chance of getting them out of. Then you gotta talk to a jelly fan you will find on the map. Okay, yeah. They normally pop up in these little chests right here. You normally can only get one of them out of a chest. But if you want the higher level versions, you have to go into like higher level places. If you stay around the starter area, you'll only find those starter jelly fans. So you have to go all the way up here to get those higher qualities. I think um, I think the one I go to is in Ancient, yeah, Eternal Mountains. I think there's a jelly fan in Eternal Mountain that gives like level 80s and 90 capes. So that's something to keep in mind if you want those. Oh, I need to make sure I pick up my quest before I actually do go do the, um, not quest, uh, pick up my skills before I actually do go do the deserted temple. Deserted temple is probably going to be slightly more of a challenge because it's literally like hallways I have to fight in. So it could be troublesome. Right now I don't have too many AoEs so that's also an issue. <gasps> My soul, these hiccups. The only AoE ability I have is um, hidden traps and they don't do much. <laughs> I can tell you that much, they really don't do much, and it kind of saddens me. <laughs> Just quite a little bit. That's useless, but I'll take it, thank you. I mean, I'll be undergeared for a while. Then I'll catch directly back up once I uh, get rid of these sprites. So around like level 60 or 70, I will literally be back up and geared. It'll be a troublesome task around that point, but you know, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Thankfully, there is there is a sprite that I do have to farm for that does give me level 87 gear. And to be honest, that's pretty much all I need, to be honest. Level 87 gear is definitely all I need. But I think I have to be... What was it? Level... Yeah, level 81. I have to be level 81 to be able to use it. So as soon as I get to level 81, I have to farm that sprite. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I have to farm it. And that might be a few days because sprite instruments are rare in the in the like the later stages to drop. And we're not gonna talk about the freaking tomes. <sighs> I'm looking forward to tome farming either. That's ooh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be heated when I have to do that. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself on that. Anywho, <laughs> you guys will know to tomes later on. Tomes are a whole different league that we're going to be getting into. I, mean, I was talking about having like a little notepad open when I uh, talk about this stuff. Just so I can know what tutorials I want to make. Um, Alter is one of them. Um... Enhancing weapons is another one. 
What else? I guess weapon and accessory would be the next one, actually. Oh, crap. I did this wrong thing. Sprite explanations. Just little things. Well, I guess I should keep it to a minimum, right? So, e So there's no reason to go into like tomes right now. Tomes are like way later of a guide type of situation. Uh, let's go do truth and get that over with. Should probably be level 35 by the end of this, right? Is that 35 or 36? Hopefully 36. Dude, that'll be a lot more seals I have to buy into. That's another reason why I can't like craft too much right now because of my skills. My skills are starting to cost a lot more. And that's going to start hoeing me, like, even more for crafting. Because I'm competing with my gold. And it's it's not fun. <laughs> it's either I have to choose between getting my skills upgraded or crafting my gear. And honestly, the skills will definitely bring you a long way. But that gear is crucial. But at the same time, my kit, dude, I, I don't know. It's a lot of things we gotta do for Grand Fantasia. But constant questing is the easiest way to get it. Uh, these eggs are gonna be annoying, because I remember how annoying it was to get these. Because they're kind of hard to see inside of the grass. Oh, there it is. That one actually popped up. Pretty easily. Bring this down here. There's a lot of things I have to make tutorials for, but then again, most of the tutorials that I would be making, I can avoid because they're already on air on YouTube. And I'm going to be honest with you, none of it has changed. None of it at all. There is no like new system or anything like that. Like, well, there isn't a lot of new things that change with the current like systems that are in place just how they look most of the time hey William how you doing here we go have this uh, who are we going? Oh god, that's that's far across the map, brother. Oh, there's an altar over here. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Sooner or later, I'm going to do a run to where I talk to every last NPC in the game. And... I can just tell you, I'm going to hate my life. Because there's a lot of different NPCs that do random stuff. Like, last video you guys saw that one NPC inside of a... Um, yeah, the Southern Island. Which was annoying.
because I have to also figure out where that is. Then I also got to figure out something else. Here's my main gripe with Grand Fantasia. The devs don't explain jack shit <laughs> when it comes to a lot of the NPCs in the game. It's all for players to figure out. And it's basically like, it's a very severe good luck. And I'm not gonna lie, it does suck to deal with. Because a lot of us just skip it if we don't know it. And a lot of people don't make content on Grand Fantasia, so... Everything's sort of a mystery. Even for most veteran players. Either that or they're not useful anymore because we pretty much out-level whatever that reward is from it. Either that or it does something unique, give us some buffs and stuff that we can use. A lot of random things and it's just kind of like, can you hold a marker above their head so I can know if they give something? That's what I would love. I need to know what NPCs are important to talk to and which one of them are not important to talk to. So if you can just hold like a little bit of a potion icon above their head, that'd be great. Because look at this. Hold on. I'm going to go here. Yeah, that that dude that gives those little uh, formulas or orbs and shit like that, he doesn't pop up on a map. So you don't know what NPCs are important and what of what you're looking for at all. That is my only main gripe is that I want more detail. Like Grand Potato's been out for years and no player has really made tutorials on a lot of things. Outside of Grand Potato. <laughs> but then again, most players most players who are still play now. I've been playing it for years, but they aren't, you know, content creators. If that they were, but just don't do it anymore because, you know, it's Grand Potasia. <laughs> it bees like that sometimes. Okay, we're gonna go summon this dude and. We should be 35 by the end of this because that should be enough to get like a bar for killing this dude then just maxing it because it should be three bars for this quest this is a boss quest well boss at the end oh, oh I was about to say you were like a bigger gorilla than the others thought you were like a field boss at first I was about to say. Ah, oh, there it is. Another thing. Um, what's what the hell is this little bug going on? Acquired. Like I just picked up. You guys saw that I picked up the the lost power for this area, but yet it says acquired dot. That bug's been going on for like an entire month now, and I've been sitting here like, are they ever gonna fix this? And I don't think so. I don't think Grand Fantasia's developers are trying to fix anything. At this point, I think they're trying to catch the game up to a later version of Grand Fantasia. So they're trying to left and right add expansions. Is there a Grand Fantasia that's ahead of us? That Like an official Grand Fantasia that's ahead of us? Or is the official Grand Fantasia just the only thing? I'm not talking about private service. Private service is their own different breed, their own different type of beast. 
because I, I I've seen some trailers of some private servers that are way further along than the official server is fucking insane. So I'm going to save that for the end of this series because I want to talk about something at the end of this series. Go in here. I do want to make a pros and con video at the end of this series as well. That's if we make it and don't get hard stuck. Because we're going to have a lot of goat farming going on. I'm trying to do this guildless as well. Even though guilds do give you a lot of buffs, they have a lot of people who are willing to help you. Because most of my stuff from my drawer came from my guildmates sharing like their loot with me and helping me uh, actually grow. Mostly towards like gear. I finally got my level 100 gear done because they actually pitched in a little bit and helped. Then again, I did the rest of the farming. <laughs> they dipped their hands in a little bit. I will also put in farm timers as well, if I'm farming for like a certain item from like a... from like a uh, monsters... as well. Uh, they... like, let's say if I'm hurt searching for like a sprite instrument I'm going to put how many days it took and how many hours it took. <laughs> I'm going to keep track of that. I'm going to hate every second of it because you're going to learn how long it takes for these items to drop. As long as I'm not, you know, completely lucky. Sometimes I can get lucky, sometimes I cannot. It really depends on how the game is feeling. Sometimes it's generous, sometimes it's just like, nope, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I know I built my, uh, my ranger kind of weird. For sure, because right now movement speed is everything for a ranger. To stay out of the reach of, like, monsters and stuff and kite them. Yeah, so if you're playing, plan on playing Archer, take dashing. Take anything movement speed you can. If you can, also, uh, doesn't matter, like, which type you get. Get one of these that have movement on them. None of those have movement, actually. <laughs> I actually think they're all on my druid. If I get heart stuck, I'll probably start... Start trying to take a little bit slower. Oh, this isn't going to be fun. This is like an actual quest of going back and forth. Uh, Jessica. Okay, so we're just going to uh, cause. That's fine. I don't mind cause. Oh, 
Yeah, this is what I was talking about, the jelly fam. If I had six of them, I can give it to her, and she'll give me, like, a mystery box to where I have a chance of getting, like, a little cape. A little placeholder cape. That heals me on, I think, usage of any skill or ability or something like that. I haven't really used them very often, to be honest. Yep, they're all here. I like how they just say palace. I also like how this is mapped out like we can get in there. But then again, there's an alternative version of this dungeon, which I'm not looking for the quest line of getting to the version of this dungeon. that quest line is about to be seriously long and it's a quest line you need to do in order to open a in-game dungeon we all use to farm and level up oh wait I could have just talked to Jessica I was literally sitting right there in front of her you know I like to make my life harder This is another thing. Like I said, reputation is very, very, very important in this game to unlock certain things. You literally have to have max reputation to get any of these. So good luck with your repeat quests and maxing this out. <laughs> you are going to need all you can get in order to get these like little slight damage increases if you want to mid-max. Another fame stuff over here. Reputation plays a freaking gigantic role in this game. It's freaking insane. I hate it too. That's the sad part. I really hate it. I sad part is I have to do this in order to get the ones I need. And I think. Oh yeah, here it is. Man, I'm not looking forward to that. But then again, I think I can skip it if I get um, if I get the sixth version. I think, and I think the sixth version of those could be farmed. Hopefully, I don't need reputation for those. I don't think I do. So I should be good on that. Okay, yeah, it's going to take another hour to finish all this stuff. Then I can do... Uh, Deserted Temple for the next video. This is actually perfect that they're all lasting for an hour. And leveling is go actually going very smoothly. Until, like I said, a certain dungeon shows up. Then I won't be happy. Because the next place that shows up will teach me not to be happy. Hi, Jessica. I, I skipped over you. Okay. So now I go all the way back. I, I could go buy my skills right now. Let's go do that. Ending at a... Okay, there is nothing at 35. That's good. Silent Shooter. This is another range skill. Okay. This seems like an AoE. 
another archer skill. It's a charge skill. Ah, oh, meter gets upgraded. Okay, so more charge skills. A lot of my skills don't affect uh, bosses, so Sag. Ah, this is a silence. Ugh, man. I wonder, has, um, if anybody who plays, um, Berserker, does your guys' stun still affect bosses, or did they take that away from you guys? Because I know you guys have a charge that instantly stuns bosses. And you guys were the only ones in the game that had that charge or any type of stun that actually worked on the boss. Please let me know if you guys still have that. Because I kind of feel that that's why I'm seeing less, like, destroyers. Nice. Is because they took that away. Alright, level 35. Everything's going pretty well. So I am three levels above each area that I'm going to. And that's just off of soloing the dungeons though. If I can actually keep up that pace, it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, I'm gonna start building movement speed very soon and getting that going. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, this is a radi radical. Oh, okay, so it's just like Meteor, but this was actually an AoE. That's great, we have more DPS skills. That's fantastic. But I'm not gonna lie, so far the bow part of Ranger is kinda lackluster a little bit. Jesus! Wait a minute. Uh, where's the cooldown? Hello? Um. There is no cooldown on this. <laughs> okay, mistranslation. But it felt like it was like very slow coming off of like cooldown. Mm, probably like 20. 20 seconds, somewhere in that ballpark. Whoa, you have another mission? What the hell? Oh yeah, for this area over here. I forgot about that. You you do have a quest over here. Okay, so it might be like an hour and 30 this time. I mean, it's kind of good, because I kind of want to get another level. I'm not sure if it's going to give it to me, though. But I'm sure I'll be halfway there, if anything. How much is this going to give, just by turning this in? Ooh, I forgot. I have to do this quest over here by the... Okay, it gave me a bar. Over by the world boss, if it's not dead. Ah, oh, somebody just killed the world boss. Like the limited time world boss.
need you to pick up stuff for me. Uh, normal sprites can't fight for you. Only your main sprite can fight. That should be known. boss because he normally paths over here then again like I said I've seen a lot more people on this server Is that a that's a field boss He normally walks around there. But okay, we got that quest. Here. Make yourself useful. Do that. What are you guys going in the blue for? You haven't done anything. So now I'm fighting all the enemies that are inside of the, well, near the meteor. Ooh. I almost auto path into my end. You're my level and you're just enough of a level to smite the hell out of me. That's for freaking sure. And I'm not willing to lose bars for that too. See a little bit of like graphic tear in there, but I'm not willing to tell him to his face that he has it. only a mother, mother can love. Jesus. Please don't auto-path me over there to him. I beg of you. I was say, Dash is not that close to this. Hi, Dash. Give me this. Thank you. I'll be going now. Then we gotta come back all the way over here. I think this is only like a Four chain quests, right? Should be. I don't think it's gonna be that long. How long did it take me to start up this video, actually? I think it's still around like an hour and three, more than likely. But we're gonna call this whole video is that, uh, is that length. Yep, alright, it's only four. Uh, you know exactly where it is. Don't you play dumb with me. Uh, 
unable to move the allocation. My ass, you are. Just right there. I think also somebody just messaged me on Fiverr. I think that's what that little pop noise was. Yep. Okay. Uh, I have to, like, definitely wrap this up and talk to them on this. Oh, this demon BS. Can I use this up here? Up close here? Alright, two skills I can use up close. Thank God. That's what I'm liking about Archer so far, is that there's two skills I can actually use, no matter what range I'm at. And they're both DPS skills. Also, Meter Shower actually gives me like a little bit of extra damage too when I use it, so I need to... I need to figure out a rotation here. I feel like Meteor Shower is great to start off with. No. Actually, if I have the charge points, Armor Cutter should be the first thing I use. Then I'm going to Meteor. Then to get the extra DPS, I go into Silent Shot. Then Power, then Jump Back. Yeah, that sounds about right for now. All right, that is it. That is all the quests we have that are important inside of a uh, set of plateau. This is the transition over into Plague Force. So Plague Force will be next after uh, Forgotten Temple Quest. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, I am almost level uh, 36. So after the dungeon, I should touch level 40, hopefully. Ooh, if I touch level 40, I'm going to be so happy. I hope so. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Hope you guys are having fun with the series. <laughs>